It's a devious ploy. Imagine an idyllic road flanked on one side by an open field and on the other side lined by a dense thicket of trees. All seems at peace, but a dark secret lurks in these woods. See, there's many kinds of trap bases, some that lure in their prey with hollow promises of loot and some that just thrive in the chaos driven by its goblin-like owners. And today I encountered the latter and it took me on quite the ride. But my day began scampering in off the coast, bare feet pounding the dirt as I came upon the remnants of an apparent bear attack. Ooh, that's a dead bear. We're gonna bonk it. So what happened here? I'm gonna bonk this tree. You know, it may not be the best tool, but it sure is fun thwacking things with the bone club. Bonking trees and exploring, this server was proving to be a bit of an enigma. This is like a freaking desolation server, man. What the hell happened? 50,000 rust chads used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Bonk. Gimme that. Gimme that. Gimme this. Anything else I can yoink? What the heck? What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Well, I guess we gotta go to that. What's going on in there? I'm coming in! Wait. Did bro just not have enough to finish the raid? I don't know what he expected. Maybe I can talk to him if he comes back. After countering a bizarre raid, the raider returned, and none too pleased. Hey, I'm friendly! No, my friend, please don't shoot! No! No, no, no! No! I'm friendly! Okay, wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, hey. Why? I'm dancing, dude, please! I have the high ground, don't do it! Alright, that's a good start. Heading further inland, I found an area between the outpost, satellites, and airfield in a thick forest gully where I wanted to set up a base. I was kind of hoping to build around here, but all the real estate is gobbled up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ourselves some rifles. I also noticed a couple small 2x2s here that had decaying foundations. I made a note of this. Oh! Hold! Wait, what the hell is this? What's going on right- Oh, that's a turret. That's multiple turrets. 4G actually showed me something quite naughty you can do to mess with those turrets. Oh, dude, that bear is... hidden. I began constructing my home flush with the side of a small cliff. This would keep my core protected on one side. Ooh, I might have screwed myself. Heck! We can work with this, we can work with this. It's, it's only adding to the charm. Okay, wait. And what if this is the one by two? And then this is drop loot, and this is the door. And then you enter here and go, Wee! It's pretty confusing and stupid. If it's confusing and stupid to me, imagine raiding it. With some potential psychological trickery on any would-be raiders complete, I had the basic design of my base down. We need to kill somebody with 20,000 stones, so I don't have to think about this anymore. I then set off to explore and hunt for better loot. But before we get into that saga, I want to take a moment to thank Enlisted for sponsoring the video. Now, Enlisted is a multiplayer shooter set in the Second World War that is available for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. In the game, you can play an infantry squad, in a tank crew, pilot planes, and more in mass-scale atmospheric battles. Now, Enlisted is dozens of soldiers, light and armored vehicles, and aircrafts, alongside immersive visual and audio effects. And the game gives you the opportunity to control the squad of soldiers, giving orders, and fighting alongside them on the battlefield. 
See, each soldier also has their own specializations, and these can range from snipers, pilots, tankers, flame troopers, and more. And if you love to build, you can also play as an engineer, which lets you create fortifications, pushing your squad towards that sweet, juicy victory. The game is very fun to play with friends or alone, and it's 100% free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. So go download it using the link in the description to get bonuses of three days of premium time and several orders for troops and weapons. Thanks again to Enlisted for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to our story. See, I had just set out from base, and I immediately leveled up my weaponry. Sure would be a shame if someone died with the 20,000s. See, this, that's huge. This is so big. You're not, oh, someone looted that. I think there's some mis a mischief maker afoot. He's partaking in a degree of mischief. Let's grind that bitch up. I'm that guy. <laughs> you, you dog wa Get rolled, buddy. Get rolled. Provide your goods, your blicky, and your dignity. I will be taking all three. This player had delivered me a lot of loot. I recycled it and then returned home to continue with a bit more building and upgrades. Oh, it's kind of, it's going. That's, that is me. I might just put this box over here, just for starters. Let's hit the road. Let's go die to a Tommy. How's that sound to everybody? You look, bu oh, I saw, you look buttered. What the hell did that mean? Observe how I play this. First, I will discombobulate him with a headshot. Perfect. This is going to be exactly a cool. Oh, this is big. Watch. I'm going to get really aggro. No! Sorry. I got too aggro. Now that fight hadn't gone quite how I had planned, but my ultimate purpose was about to be revealed as I jumped out of base once more with just a bow. Ah! Yep, silenced bolty turret. This just got personal. Hidden in the bushes here, right by my home, were silenced bolt-action rifle auto turrets, a devious little trap. The gears began turning in my mind. You can't spear a bow. Yes, you can. It's not chain. It's oh my god, another one, bro? The thick shrubberies made it difficult to see, so I put this to the side for now and went to loot the satellite dish, where I soon ran into a rather off-kilter individual. Give me your loot! No, spasi, spasi, Okay. Spasi, spasi. Spasi, spasi. Oh, we might die from rads now. Gib. Gib. What the hell? You are, you are a little stupid. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite tool, though. It's the bunk hammer. Bunk. Bunk. Returning home, I'd collected a surprising amount of scrap and could now craft a tier 2 workbench. So I set it down and crafted a python as I waited for morning. Python. Now well armed, I headed to the bandit camp to make a very specific purchase with my remaining scrap and immediately had more bizarre encounters. I think this is that kid again. Right. I'll pick you up and take this mace this time though. There, there! You dropped your pickaxe! Here. You dropped it. Yeah, no we're oh, okay, no problem. Maybe I'll Oh my My dear cock leave that cock alone, my dear. Leave that cock alone. We're about to get a little freaky. <laughs> yeah, boy. I purchased some grenades with which I would attempt to destroy a turret. See, if I broke one, I could then claim the Balti from it. A big potential prize. Oh my god, the dog you chase. After all, why not? Now scouting it out, I could see that there were a lot of turrets here. Okay, so there's one there. Is that Silence Balti? Yes. I don't think I can throw that far. There's no way, dude. <laughs> I 
attempting to destroy a turret, I maneuvered through the trees tossing grenades. But it was a tricky angle, and my puny throws didn't have quite the distance I was hoping for. Am I really dating one right now? No, dude, you can't anymore. That's the thing. That's the angle, though. We just use this tree. Oh. Dude, it's this dumbest tree. Trying to use a tree for cover, I was running into some difficulties here. No! After some time with no success at breaking the turret, I noticed that the commotion I'd caused had awakened the owners. Wait, that, that's the guy who... Oh, great. That's the freaking guy who lives there. That shit's so dumb. This is so rat. So goblin. Irritated and a bit dismayed, my plan had to be put on ice for now, so I set off to look for trouble around the rest of the map. Don't hurt me. I'm just a naked with a bow. I think I'm in trouble. We lad, get the fucking bombs out, lad. Oh, I have two shots. Do we just take this dub? I think we just take this dub. My ruse of being a lowly bowman had netted me some resources for the base. A little bit of stone, a little bit of metal fraggies. I next made a quick pit stop at the outpost and interacted with some brain-dead locals. There's a horse around. Bow. If he moves around, he's doing a bow movement. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> away from me. What? What? <laughs> Say what a bottle, and I'll give you your horse back. What a bottle. <laughs> there you go. With some wood acquired, I made my way home and banked. All right, let's go home, folks. <laughs> The base that had been decaying near me was at very low health, so I decided to go finish the job. It'll go to like 13 and then it'll die. 20. All right, let's... Hey. Is this a forgotten Zichum base? Two. Oh, I, I, I got him out of that. Decent little hall. I then took all I had gained and expanded the base with an additional airlock and garage doors. My home was now quite sturdy. Let's go. It's loaded! Following this, I next decided to go kill scientists at the abandoned military base. This would net me some good components, and I also hit some nice shots on the way there. It was almost a reflex. Oh, bye, Badoomer. Murdering scientists was proving to be a boon for my scrap coffers. Turned home to bank before heading out to explore and once more meeting some bizarre characters. I swear it's night all the damn time on this freaking server, dude. I just need uh, more stone now, honestly. That's our next mission. We could get a Jackie. I might do that. that could... Oh, I did. oh, that scared me. See, I still got it, folks. You guys see that aim? Well, no, don't kill me. Well, no. Okay, I pick you up. Do you want to be on my team? No. Get your ass back here! I just wanted to be on his team, man. What the hell? 
Where's the hell is this airdrop, bro? I got all distracted. Oh, there. All right. After looting an airdrop, I went to the scientist outpost to buy a jackhammer, armed with my newfangled tactical MP5. Watch this. You guys ready for this? <laughs> one shot, one kill. I had a bunch of stuff to do last night, so I decided... Oh! Okay, dude. Wait, those are ladders that go up there. Okay, buddy. I'm just not gonna do it, bro. Damn. Okay, hear me out. Why is it moving like that? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go home. Give me the loop. Oh. All right. Hey, man. What's up? Certified Chantel moment. After bequeathing a longsword to a local, I then returned home to upgrade. But I needed a lot of stone to finish the full layout of my base, so I set out to mine. After arriving back home, I added a strong honeycomb layer, as well as additional furnaces to smelt. I also made the core section metal to withstand raids. I then made a second floor for additional loot storage and so that I would not be easily trapped in my home. See, I would have two exits to make door camping more difficult. Placing multiple garage doors, my base was coming together well. Very nice. Now re-gearing up with a Tommy, I went to do some scrap runs. I first hit the sewer branch, encountering very little resistance, and then looted the airfield, dispatching the scientists with ease. I tripled him! Tripled, he's dead! I tripled him! Alright, let's take a little peek out. Anybody there? Gotta go fast. Geeb. Ooh, what a jump. I'm that guy. I was back in base banking a few minutes later when I heard explosions not too far away. Alright, we're going, we're going. There's just two horses outside a random base. Oh, I think they sealed it already. This appeared to be raided, and I could hear movement inside. This could be big. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. Both of these players were loaded. Grabbing all the best stuff as fast as possible, I darted off into the darkness. This is a gargantuan bag. Oh my god, look at these turrets at night. These guys are goblins. That's kind of what we needed, folks. Not gonna lie. Using the high quality metal I'd stolen, I upgraded more. My base was now quite well fortified. Alright, this base is a chomp list now. I want to recycle this stuff. It's burning a hole in my base. I next went to recycle some of my components at the outpost nearby. However, when I was on the way back home, things took a turn. Like in the movie. Got a bad feeling about this. Alrighty then. I could go all the way around. What if this was his base, though? That would be a little stuff. Yeah, okay, buddy. Be more predictable next time. No! Not ideal. Maybe my rat stash had survived. You think they're gonna find the goods? I think it's the guys who live in that base. No way, dude. Well, minus 300 scrap, I guess. That's totally cool. I should have played that entire time like there were two. Now out of gear set and some resources, I was irritated. But moments later, while lurking in the area, I heard movement.
Hell, that's it. I accept this as a consolation prize. With some loot, and now in possession of a red card, I felt satisfied. But I next had another idea. See, I had heard a wooden door at the raid I'd countered earlier, so I decided to craft a pump shotgun plus a silencer and use incendiary ammo to break in and potentially get any juicy leftovers in a covert fashion. Bit of loot, but nothing crazy. I went to return back home, avoiding the turrets along the way. Now, I had only been home for a few moments when I once again heard not too distant explosions. Eh? This might be really tough to push. Quite the battle was occurring here. I pushed up to take a look. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, bro didn't see. Oh, oh he's gonna, the other guy's gonna push the body. Or not. Or the body it. Okay, let's let him go and then we go after, okay? Oh, does he, he finds the SAR? Here we go. YOLO. I knew that was a bad call. I'd been ambushed, but intrigued by this situation, I donned some night vision goggles I'd found earlier and went to go back. Alright. I'm not sure I want to go back in there. Dude, I died. Where do I land on? Do I have wood? I do. This is gonna be a little zany, okay? Oh my god, I got freaking demolished. The tactical operation had not quite panned out, but luckily this time my little tossed stash had been left unmolested. We out this bitch, bro gonna go re-gear up at base. Back at base after a chaotic night, I now was gonna loot the launch site. I'd gotten a free red card from the neighbors. Let me in. In the dark intestines of the cavernous hangar, I was having some trouble fighting scientists. How much health does bro have? Uh, I'd rather fall this side, I think. Alright, well, let's see if this works. No! After some miscalculations, I now needed to run back. My loot would despawn if I didn't retrieve it fast enough. If I can get there and drop that, I certainly live that fall. There's something sussy going on here. That? That's the only option I have. We pop a syringe as we fall and we go. I'm literally that guy. This time moving swiftly and efficiently, I was able to get my loot back. Breathing a sigh of relief that I'd not lost this sizable sum of scrap and components, I returned home. All right, firm handshakes all round. Placed a bit of extra storage, then headed out to explore once more. Good job. Ooh, horsey. Now I hadn't gone far on horseback when I heard some gunfire. They're looking a little. Here we go. Is that Hazzy AK? Oh no, oh no. No! No! Taking cover behind my valiant steed, I'd fled to the rocks. Sorry. Oh. Hey, thank it is! I don't think I can go back for this. Go! 
No! No! Is he full dead? I don't think so. There he is. I killed this player, but he was in the open. I needed to figure out a way to loot him. Coco <laughs> Barrel. Is that what we do? We put our trust in the barrel? After some quick moves, I'd looted this loaded player. I then fled atop my equine companion. Woohoo! Well, that's the launcher, I guess. We're up big, folks. I would never have pushed that without the hobo barrel is the thing. So we actually needed the hobo barrel. Now over the next while, I did some big loot runs. I navigated out to the cargo ship, cleared it of all the scientists aboard, and then looted the hackable crates in the cargo hold below deck. This trip went off without a hitch, and I returned home not long after, now loaded with a big haul of components, top tier weaponry, armored doors, and a C4. Oh my god. There's nothing but chaos here. I put these strong fortifications to use and strengthened my home a bit. For aesthetic reasons, I'm open to this. Because it does look better. But now once again turning my focus to the turrets outside my home, I learned the high-velocity rocket using scrap on the tech tree. Love it. All right. Well, we devastated our scrap horde, but, you know, it is what it is. I then crafted up some HV rockets. Three direct hits would take out a turret, so I got to work blasting. I think that probably did it, but maybe it would Killed by the base owner, and I think I'd gotten one turret, but under his watchful gaze, this project would be nigh impossible. So I set back out to wander to let things cool off. But they're in the bu- they're, they're in the car, bro. They're in the truck. Oh, there's two! They don't give a shit about me, dude. These guys are blicked up, bricked up, metaled up, ready to roll. Let's go ahead and just head down the road. What in tarnation? This is outrageous. After admiring a gargantuan compound, I got into a bit of a scuffle. Oh, they're throwing hands, bro. My brother, they are throwing hands. I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, let's do a little bit of this. I'm just a rock. Oh. I will start barking. I returned home triumphant and quickly banked before running into some other players. All right, I'm gonna fight him honorably. <laughs> I picked you up. Ah. Some time had gone by since I'd last poked at the Balti turret hornet nest, so I geared up with a launcher once more and went to take out the turrets. This time it was wolves that were proving to be a nuisance. Okay, well. Found that up. Oh my god, dude, please. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome. That's it. Is that it? 
clean turret kill and no real reaction from the base. They could be offline. That would be very helpful for this. And I did not feel sorry one bit. If you set up silence turrets and bushes along a road, you deserve whatever's coming your way. Stupid games, stupid prizes. I then continued with blasting another turret. I get this one easy money. Alright, two more, then we go fast. Oh, didn't like that one. Didn't like that one. Okay, did I get it? God, give me that shit. Now there were a lot of turrets scattered around the central hub of this treacherous base. To the west, there were a few isolated outposts with turrets spread out hidden in bushes. Then to the east was a garage base with a few turrets guarding it as well. There were a number spread throughout the area, but the primary turrets were perched on top of ramparts of the main building, their lasers ominously scanning the surroundings. Now this was gonna be quite tricky due to the tree cover and angles, but it was time to get to work. I was quite meticulous in my shots as to not waste too many rockets. Honestly, this might be money. As silly as this is. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, dude. Now, I was causing a ruckus, so I was not surprised when I saw some curious players approach. Attempted different angles to most efficiently take out the turrets. Is it the very Oh, okay, I think it's a... Uh... I think I might be hitting underneath it, actually. Should be... Oh! Can I, like, run in this way? I feel like I might be able to. Okay, we can. One thing I might do is yeet for the base itself. Because I can tank one shot and the bolt takes forever to reload. And then I could get underneath it, maybe. Yep, there's two. Ah, I... Shotgun trap. Now, hoping to take cover under the base, I had died to a shotgun trap of all things. I can get up close here, I think. I went back to retrieve my body, but it was a tricky spot. Right. Oh, to hit it with. Uh, I should have brought two or Okay. Oh, that one's literally right there. Hey. I can. I know where that top one is. Right there. Oh, that was. Oh no, I did. I'm dead here. The shotgun was out. <laughs> I would have died if it wasn't. With my gear back, I continued my efforts. But Oop! This was a difficult process, but I was slowly making progress, and now with night vision goggles, I continued over the nighttime. But in the morning, I took a different tact. See, there were still numerous turrets farther out that would be easier to destroy. If I took those out, I would have more maneuverability around the core building's turrets. Without too much difficulty, I dispatched and looted multiple outer turrets. My silenced Balti stash was certainly growing. Wait, I can get these low trees now, because I, I think. Now I was doing well avoiding shots, but also made some mistakes of my own. Bad angle alert. Got a bad angle. This is literally the last one. Oh. Okay, I made it off. Where is that one? Is that the one that's like up there?
There were still a few hard to identify turrets in the canopy leaves, but I was getting closer. I think I can see it if I go like. I'm actually throwing. Alright, now I'm just gonna beam it. Continuing with the rockets, I also utilized some grenades I had in my base. Oh, no, don't break it. I get it? Oh, no. But other players were still circling. Idiot's gonna be here for 30 years now. He's right here. Okay. After dispatching a compound bowman and one more turret, I could finally get inside the graded walls. Not much loot, but these turrets were giving me all that I could want. I now cleaned up some remaining empty turrets, but I was not done. See, I had some rockets and a C4 that I had accumulated over the course of my adventure. So just to see if it would get me anywhere, I went to blast through their front door. I thought this was the first floor. Oh. Oh. I took out their electrical connectivity. Their operation was kaput. I then blasted another door. Is that armored? Oh, it is. I was low on explosives now. I had some sulfur, but I needed to smelt it and then cook gunpowder. While returning home to do just that, I encountered a random naked. Now, a few moments later, I was inside base crafting when I heard a tree go down outside. I went to investigate. Is this little gremlin outside? Hello. Hey, man. Hello? Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on, man? What's up? I've been trying to build a base, you keep on killing me. Alright, dude, just don't build around here, man. Don't build around here. I know, I'm trying to get to a spot, and I have to go through here to get to it. I had killed this player a couple times, and they seemed genuine. I had no problem letting them proceed peacefully. You gotta go, man. Yeah, I'm leaving, I'll just make myself a tool. Alright, good luck. Back in base cooking the ores of the player I'd ambushed, the friendly naked I'd been speaking to returned. Hey. What's up? Uh, just so you know, there's a dude on top of your base. Are you the one with the suppressed turret? I'm trying to get my workbench back, but I keep on getting killed by it. No, it's not me. Wait, there's another guy? Uh, yeah, there's someone on top of your roof just running around. Oh, that's the guy. You can get him on them. There they go. Oh, that's me! That was, gonna happen. That was me! You know what's gonna happen. Ah, uh, come get it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, come get it, bitch. I poop on you. Yeah. Yeah, Thank say. You. you will see, motherfucker. You will see. Yeah, you will, you see. will see, motherfucker. You will see. It's not my turret, but it's tie time. Someone did something about it. I need to see how much health it has. He'd done me a solid alerting me of the other player lurking. Dude, there used to be turrets everywhere out here, man. I can see all the prison gates and everything. Yeah. Now, it seemed he also had a certain enmity towards the turret base owners. Maybe I could enlist him in my efforts. This is the literally the last turret. 946, oh, it's full health. All right. Working together, we aimed to take out the final distant outer turret. Come right here. He doesn't turn around at all. Really? You got this. And if you go under right here, you can just like waste bullets right here. Like that. It's wasting bullets on me. A rather bumbling process to be sure, but we were getting it done. Let's see what happens if I do this. 
Is it out of bullets? Peek it. Peek it more. It's out of bullets. It can't shoot oh, me. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. No, oh, no, it isn't. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why did it not shoot? Check this out. Hell yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh... Almost threw a grenade. You keep that oh. one. That way you can Thank cover. you. Actually, the bolts are my favorite gun. Hell yeah, man. Let's freaking go. We returned to my base, and I decided to arm my new friend. I sensed that he also wanted these turret goblins gone. As the sun set, my friend poked around their base as I crafted rockets. When night came, I put on my NVGs and went to put the explosives I'd crafted to use. What's up, man? Okay, so... Hey, I'm up here. Do we have, like, a flashlight or anything? Oh, that's what... Uh, here, right here. I love it. Okay. All right, just step back real Got quick. it. Yep, got it. Okay. I have night vision. We just don't want to light this up any more than it needs to be. Got it, okay. Is there some damage? Yep, yep, yep. Mistakes were made, and it was just my ally there. Certainly a way to put a new friendship to the test. I'm coming back, man! Yep, I grabbed the rocket launcher. Thanks, Here, man. I'm putting it back on your body. Yep, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm coming in right now. Look no up. problem. Appreciate it, man. All right, okay. 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 Grabbing my stuff, I went to keep blasting. Careful, I'm gonna blow it. Yeah, go for it, go for it. All right. Turret's still there. Oh, careful. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be Dude, there's anything? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm in here. Take the grenades. I trust you more than I do me. Alright, cool. We're just gonna bang it. Grenading out a turret, we could finally get our first look into a core room. Nice, it's done. It's gone. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Oh, yep, yeah, lots. Ooh, lots. we got goodies. Yep, yep, yep. A good amount of loot was in here. We made a quick pit stop and base under the cover of darkness to bank what we'd gotten thus far. Just come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna slap three yes. boxes down. Oh, uh... There you go. That's hot. After some interesting skin adjustments, I placed code locks on the top airlock garages. Then I gave my new friend the guest code. He would now have access to the first few doors of my base. Don't say it out loud. Don't do anything. Don't type it. Don't put it anywhere. Watch that. Alright, there you go. Let's go. Also, I believe it is daytime now, so that yep. is awesome. When morning came, we went to grab another haul from the base. A big load of wood and more. Another load of the best stuff. Oh, dude, there's a box of wood here. Anything else good up there? Uh, I mean, take a look around. There's some, there's some stuff left, yeah. But next we saw that there was a soft side metal wall appearing to lead deeper into their core. So an idea formed. See how there's a tier two right up here? So, uh, oh, yeah. So yeah. take a Jackie. We're gonna soft side this. We were gonna soft side raid this metal using jackhammers. Fairly time consuming, but with two of us and multiple jackhammers, it wouldn't be too bad. However, due to a strange building mechanic in Rust, if we wanted to do soft side damage to this wall, we would have to break this half wall platform that the boxes were resting on first. Here, humor me, let's just see what, how fast we break we, before we see health of this. What do you think? I think that is, it'll probably work. I think this is just the play, you know. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. I next returned home to gather scrap. I was gonna buy multiple more Jackies to speed up this process, so scrounging together every scrap of scrap, Bruh. I went to the outpost. Can you get enough to buy three? Because I don't think I get more. With more jackhammers purchased, I went back to finish the job. Welcome back. Thanks, man. Here, Tay, I'll give yeah, you a Yeah, about 69. Nice. Now, this whole time, my friend had been diligently grinding. I now got to work beside him. Thank you. After some minutes spent hammering, we were almost dead. Tool cupboard. Now to break it and secure this base. Oh, we got it. All right, here. Double barrel, I got man. it. I got it. Oh my God, dude! You scared oh, oh, don't. Dude. Don't jump in front of me. Dude, you scared don't jump in front of me. Oh my God, you scared me. 
crap out of me. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> Here, come get TC. I got an AK. Dude, let's go. With some building complete, this base was now fully ours. Coming back to my home, I decided to take the plunge with my new friend. I could tell in his demeanor that he was committed to this cause of taking down the trap base as much as I. So I decided to trust him. Let me get you, TC, here. You come down here. We'll just live together. Okay. Oh, oh! Okay. A small oversight had ended in his untimely death. You're good. I, I turned, I see this freaking gun, I'm just like, uh oh. Aw, oh, dude, oh no. Now, there were still a couple garage doors left in the main trap base, so crafting every remaining ounce of sulfur into explosives, we went to go finish it up. I'm gonna do top far quarter, I think. I'll, I'll try. Alright. Oh, holy shit. That's really low. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, okay. Is there a boom? This is a weird ass room, room, bro. All sorts of explosives that I had lying around were being employed in this raid, and we were nearly into the final room. 50. Oh, no, I'm out of the door. Six, oh, though. There goes the ladder. We only have six to do. Oh! Oh! Dude, mace me, bro. One resounding mace bonk, and this was all ours. Let's swing it. This one I was using. Have oh. fun. It's still crafting. Oh, all right, okay. Dude, we're gonna swing together. Oh, don't watch where you swing. Three. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm good. All right, count of three. One, okay. two, three, swing. Oh. <laughs> what the? Dude, what is wrong with this base, bro? They were creating a nuisance on the thoroughfares of the server, and we handled that shit, like businessmen. We broke their bags and then built up on their towers. I wanted to see everything from the treetops. Try to see the stars, man. Standing high above the forest, we reflected on this adventure and the triumph that we had shared. Dude, this was an honor, man. Thank you for helping me on this page. This shit is legendary, bro. Look. Dude, Not a problem. Again. I'm supposed to be a friendly guy. Dude, all I'm saying is we're boogieing on the roof of these idiots with their stupid turrets. We won, man. We won. Hey. Heck yeah. Dude. I was upset about the loot, kinda. I mean, dude, this was never about the loot, man. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> oh, wait, don't move! Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, man. I saw. I had to. I just. I was like, this will be too funny. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no problem. So I guess if there's a lesson in all of this, it's don't put a bunch of turrets in bushes. You might get your base slammed by a deranged pumpkin enthusiast and an unlikely friend that he made along the way. Oh no! I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Subscribe to my channel to see more. And also, a thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring the video. Click the link in the description to give it a try. And make sure to follow my Instagram and my thumbnail artist too. Lots of epic videos are on the way, so stay tuned. This has been your friend Wellen, bidding you farewell from the treetops of what was once a perilous forest floor. I'll see you next time. It started back in my school days, afternoon rapping out for the top like two pays. I wanted to flow smoother than puree so I could get my flowers, bride throwing a bouquet, let's run it back.